just been practicing a new makeup tutorial which I wanted to do on my Instagram what do we think I think there's a few things that I am gonna tweak but overall it's nice makeup was a little bit of a struggle today I'm not gonna lie my face just isn't looking great I didn't really sleep particularly well yesterday I quite suddenly came down with like a weird sickness bug and I'm still not feeling well today so we're just gonna see how the day goes. I did have quite a lot that I wanted to get done today, but I'm just gonna kind of try and get through like the essentials and see how I get on. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a bit more done than I feel currently able to do. I get really frustrated when I mentally want to do all the things, but physically cannot do all the things. And right now my body just feels really like standing as a struggle kind of vibe. So we're gonna see how we get on. But I thought I'd start by washing my hair, having a shower, doing all the makeup and seeing just seeing where the day takes me but whilst i'm getting ready i thought i'd show you guys well try and show you guys my new little hair hack lots of you will know i love the idea of a bouncy blow dry but i really struggle to get the look of a bouncy blow dry because i just refuse to pay the money for an air wrap which lots of people i know think is really stupid because i'll happily pay so much money for a handbag and not for a hairstyler however I've never heard my friends complain about their designer handbags like they do their Dyson air wraps. So that is my justification for not being particularly eager to have a Dyson air wrap. They did offer to send me one, but I actually declined <laughs> because I was so unsure if it was worth the money. But anyway, long story short, don't own the air wrap. And that is why everyone always asks me why they're like, wouldn't this be so much easier with an air wrap? And I'm like, I actually don't know because I don't, I've never tried it. I don't have one. And this is why. Also, the tool I'm currently using is probably like a third of the price, maybe even better than that. And it's working out okay for me so far. So I'm gonna stick with this for a little while and see how I get on. But I posted a small clip of me doing this on Instagram stories the other day, cause I was just so chuffed that I felt like I'd finally got the knack of this because I had the knack of this with a bob, but because I was doing just like a roll under. So my bob curled just like that, super, super easy. And this was great for that. However, with long hair, I see a lot of people like doing like curls with this and the technique is not the same. But yeah, with a curl, like when you see people doing it on Instagram, they kind of wrap it around like you would around a curler basically. And obviously that just wasn't giving me the cute blow dried vibe that I really wanted, which is unsurprising because those curls are not the same. But I was just playing around with it yesterday morning because I had that kind of like last day gross hair. Just happened to do this where I basically 
curled it around the bottom. I burnt my thumb doing this, so do be careful, and rolled it up. Literally keep it there. You don't have to keep it there for very long, depending on how much heat you want to put on your hair. I really try not to put too much on. And then you have these nice little fancy curls. I feel like this side is not going the same way as this side did. This side went very, very well. So if you already have the GHD rise, then you might want to give this a go. And then on the top layer, I just like to do a little bit of this quickly for volume. So I just literally use it to lift the root there. And then do that. Thank you. Sorry, my battery ran out. But I think I've got the hang of how to get it to wrap without having to risk burning your fingers. So what I was doing was running it down and then starting to curl before, yeah, before the hair got to, before I got to the end of the hair. I can do this without burning my thumb again. Okay, so with my front bits, how do I do this without burning my bed sheets? So <laughs> this is going to be so hard to show you because my hair is so long now. So I go from behind the hair and almost give myself a little quiff and then I bring it up and basically do what I've been doing where I start to... <laughs> Why could I not do this? Hang on. Yeah, so bring it up, start twisting before you get to the end, bring it down. Oh God, I hope this goes okay. Release. And then, okay, bring it back down. And then we should have some cute blow dry bits at the front as well. Yeah, I am now ready for the day, which is great. By the way, that GHD rise, when I linked it on stories, I think it had, what was it, 20% off. So normally it's 169, it's 135 on the GHD website, but someone messaged and said they got it on ASOS for 109 pounds. Oh, and on the GHD website, you can also do another 20% off with a code, I think, but I don't know if that will still be live by the time this video goes live, because it's not for a couple more days. So I will try and link to various different places if you want it, but like I said, it does like you do have to get the knack of it. Also, one thing I really do need a recommendation on is a good mousse. I'm not a hairspray girl at all. I really hate it. I think it's actually for my hair because it's quite dry. I find it quite damaging. Basically, hairspray causes my hair to all just stick together. And then when I'm brushing it, I just feel like I, I know it's the hairspray coming apart, but I also just worry that my hair, like because the ends are dry, is just breaking. So I'm not really one for hairspray, but I would love, because I like doing hairstyles like this or just curls in general. I think a mousse is probably best for giving my hair, like my hair holds pretty well anyway because of the texture of it. But I would love to know if anyone has any recommendations for hair mousses that they love. Okay, so now I'm getting dressed. I'm gonna be wearing a body today from Zara. All of my clothes just have these in. I'm actually too lazy for words. Anyway, I've got a few of these bodies. I really, really like these. They fit really well. I've got a size small. I can't remember if they go any smaller than a small, but the small fits me very well. They're like ribbed with like a long sleeve. I have it in black and I believe a burgundy as well. And I just wear them on repeat. They're such easy everyday pieces, like a great basic to have in your wardrobe. And then I have these new joggers from ASOS, which I'm going to try on. I actually have a whole ASOS order, which I will go through with you in a bit. I've had all of my deliveries arrive this morning, but this is one of the items that I was particularly excited about because I've been wearing my Nasty Girl knitted joggers so much and they need to go in the wash, but I want to keep wearing them. And I was like, you just need another pair of like skinny joggers. So I saw these, I really like the stripe on them. I actually have a pair of smart trousers from River Island, which you guys will have seen in my last What I Wore in a Week. I absolutely love them. I actually wore them on Christmas day with like a white shirt. Ryan styled me. I don't think I've ever showed the outfit maybe i'll like wear it on a date night at some point so you guys can see it but like white silky shirt and then really really cute shoes and i just really loved that look i love those trousers and these are like the comfy version of those trousers and i think they're really cool yeah i'm gonna give those a try i've got them in a size eight and hopefully they're not gonna be too snug no that'd be fine and then i have just put my jewelry on i've got monica vinader rings on all of them are from there my necklace is also monica vinader i think my earrings may yeah they're monica vinader and then i've just got my regular apple watch strap which is from amazon and then my bangle which is from lauren for my birthday which is from etsy and i just love the bangle it matches like 
perfectly and this kind of rose gold that tone is very hard to find it's like a warm gold but almost like an antique rose it's weird. honestly impossible to find things that match and they actually match which i love okay cute yeah I'm really happy with these i think they actually fit better than my nasty girl ones but they're obviously slightly different my nasty girl ones are like knitted so very different texture and slightly different fit just a different vibe in general but yeah i really like these i love the way they look with the white body because of the white stripe and then my fluffy sunday luxe slippers just to top it all off yeah this is like my go-to working from home look at the moment a minimal working from home outfit with a bougie blow dry is the vibe for 2022 this is my new vibe <laughs> My juices have arrived. I haven't done a juice order in so long. I used to do these all the time in lockdown. The Daily Dose cold pressed juices are my favorite. I don't think I'm well enough to be like having juices and like very rich foods today, but I can't wait until I am better because I will really enjoy these, but I'm gonna get them in the fridge now. So this is what we have. This little bottle does not <laughs> want to play my game. Please look aesthetically pleasing. Anyway, I have three sea bombs, which are orange lemon and freeze dried cherry, which I just love. And then I also got the Zen Zero apple ginger lemon and thyme. And then I got a load of the straw juices, which are strawberry, apple, lemon, and basil. These are incredible, like best best juices that they do the reason i have four is because i actually ordered a couple for lauren as well and then the reason i have double of everything else is because i know ryan will steal things so basically just want to ensure i actually get one of everything but lauren and i always do these orders together because we used to go to zizi's all the time and they used to serve these i'm pretty sure it was this exact brand and she loved them so much and that was how we got onto ordering them during lockdown because we missed our zizi's dates basically and taking a load of these home with us like we'd order loads to take away they're literally that good so i've got four of those i've got the cherry shots which i don't think i've tried but i'm very excited to try it and then i've got some hot shots which i just find really good for kind of like your immune system i don't know if it's a placebo effect but i will take the placebo effect i don't care however i feel healthy i'll take it so yeah that is what we've got i'm gonna get these in the fridge and hopefully make them look all cute and organized because the fridge has stayed cute and organized so let's do this Still organized. I am so proud of myself. This conversation has just reminded me that that vlog is going live today. It's my first video back of the year and I am so, so nervous. I don't even know why, but I'm just really nervous. It's actually been the longest break that I've had from uploading videos in such a long time. Like I have been working now for like a couple of weeks, but just not making videos, just having a little bit of a break. And yeah, I don't know if I've ever had three weeks off. I'm not sure. Maybe once in like 2019. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm nervous to come back. I hope that you all enjoyed organising with me. I feel so much better for doing it. Honestly, if you're on the fence, just do it. You feel so much better for it. I actually can't wait to do my wardrobe room. I've had to park that for this week because I need to just get on top of other bits with the house. But so, so excited to do the wardrobe room. This evening, I actually need to like blitz the whole house because we have someone coming to look at it for something tomorrow. I still can't tell you what it is that we're doing this year because the issue is we don't actually know what we're doing this year. So this is why we have someone coming to look at the house so that they can tell us some things. Yeah, this year's gonna be a bit of a wild one, but I'm excited. I literally, during COVID, I think my anxiety attached onto <laughs> the future in like a real long-term way and like finances and I learned a lot. I actually use that time very, very productively, but we have a lot of options for what we're gonna do this year, like how Ryan and I are gonna choose to live together. So this month is like phase one of like getting all of our options in and all of our like real expert information in that allows us to fully make a decision because we know what each of the options are, but we need to know like more detail about all of our options so tomorrow is phase one but it means that i actually need to have a house that like just looks presentable to someone that doesn't know me or like it's just one of those things you know when you're having someone in your home that doesn't come in your home all the time and you don't want them to be like do you tidy up after 
myself, you know? So yeah, I've just got a lot of like little bits to keep on top of this evening. I'm gonna have a good clean, just make sure it's all like presentable for guests. I also need to do a post office run. If I get to sit down with you and show you my recent orders, it will be a miracle. This is my lunch. I actually have a Sainsbury's. What are you? Oh, olive loaf to go with this. And I have another half of an avocado, but I just thought that my presentation was cute. So I show it to you like this. But yeah, this is my tofu scramble. If you want the recipe for this, this is actually a Ryan speciality and I believe he's done a reel on this. So I will link his food Instagram. If you're a bit of a foodie, you will definitely enjoy following him. I just threw in whatever I had. So I had a spare bit of a lemon. I had spinach. I had a little bit of the new plant-based this stuff. This is really good. I'm really, really enjoying this. So I had a couple of those in the fridge. So I used a little bit of that in mine, some oat milk. So I can't remember if mine was exactly as per his recipe, but if you want the rough idea, Go over there. Also, my bread knife is in the dishwasher. Let me live. And there we go. Okay, so the light is awful, but I'm gonna run you through everything that has arrived today very quickly, mostly because I wanna put on my new jumper. It's that time of the day where the house starts to get a bit chilly and I think it's because the light starts to go. And I would very much like to put this sweatshirt on. I don't have a plain black sweatshirt and I thought this would look very cute with my new joggers. So I got this, this is from Topshop. I had a real like nostalgic moment browsing through all the Topshop stuff on ASOS. And it's nowhere near as good as what it used to be, but hopefully I will enjoy it and get a lot of use out of this really simple black crew neck. It feels really soft. The quality actually does feel really nice. I miss Topshop. I picked a few other things up whilst I was on there. Some bits from Topshop, some bits from ASOS. I got this shirt. This shirt definitely looked better on the website, but I'm gonna still try it on, style it up, see how I go. But this just doesn't look anywhere near as good as I was hoping it would look. It'd be like that sometimes when you're shopping online. I also picked up this little black kind of like ribbed knitted this is really cute actually i would actually say this is better than the zara body i have like i have a white one that's like meant to be like a ribbed it's kind of like a ribbed jersey whereas this is an actual like knit effect it could be very different on it could look maybe not so cute because i do find that the knits don't tend to mold to your body as well as obviously like a jersey fabric but i wanted to give this a go because i thought this would be really good for when i do like beauty stuff when i do beauty content i sometimes find it easier if i don't have like loads of straps or anything so we also have this shirt which i picked just in case the other shirt wasn't quite right i'm not sure this one's I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to try them on. Neither of them look as good in real life as they looked online. So we're gonna have to see. I prefer the colors of this one, but I prefer the overall look, just holding it up of the previous one. I also picked some things up from Zara, as you can see. I don't know why, I just left them fully stacked here. Did the thumbnail for the video and then completely forgot to take everything apart again. There was an outfit basically that I saw on where was it? Net supporter. And it was a full like YSL outfit, the cutest outfit for spring, like a white lacy top and these gorgeous blue straight, they weren't skinny, but they weren't straight, but they weren't mom. Like a very specific kind of, I guess a straight jean. And I just loved the look. And I thought if anywhere's gonna do an affordable version of that, it's gonna be Zara. And I literally found like almost the exact same pieces on Zara. So we have this top which is just like a gorgeous white lacy top, which I thought would be a good one for like filming and work and stuff like that, like Zoom calls. This is the kind of cute stuff that, because I'm a basics girl, like all of my tops, I tend to buy a lot of like 
fun trousers or cool jackets but like I generally day to day love like a really simple top but it does mean that if I'm not like accessorizing and like putting like a chunky necklace or cool pair of earrings like and I do a video or a call and I'm just wearing like a basic top sometimes it falls a bit flat so tops like that are really handy to have and one thing that I definitely don't have enough of in my wardrobe I really have the potential pair of jeans. We'll see. These could be a bit long on me, but they are a already kind of, what do you call it, raw pen. I could actually adjust those, which is great. And then I also have this dress, which I thought would be really cute for like date nights. It just looked really sweet on the website. However, I hate the quality of this, like now that it's in my hands, this is, this is not cute. I'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like on. Maybe my mind will change if it looks like really, really great on. But yeah, I am a little bit sad about the quality of this. It does not feel good. Got it in a size small. I also got the top in a size small, which was $27.99. And the jeans are a 36. They were $19.99. That's very good for a pair of jeans. Okay, and then I really wanted an, a nice oversized blazer that wasn't black i've just really struggled with blazers for the past couple of years really and i picked up a couple i don't know if they're gonna be right i just want a nice blazer that's not black that i can wear with like leggings and trainers and it just be cute but like not too oversized and i ordered a couple off of asos before christmas and they were just completely wrong so we'll see how i got on with these i got them in a size small which depending on whether they fit oversized could have been a bit silly but Hmm. could be okay they are a very like smart material is my only thing i just really i'm really picky with blazers they do look almost like a suit that someone's dad would wear not my dad my dad would never i can't remember the last time my dad wore a suit so they do look quite formal really i really like this green color i thought this green could be really cool with like black leggings a black like top underneath and then just a pair of like white trainers yeah, actually these could fit okay. They're not too, they're a, they're a lot oversized on the sleeves, but they don't look too ridiculous on the shoulders. Not too ridiculous. But the thing is you don't want to go too tight because then it ends up looking too smart, like too actual like suit vibes kind of thing. But yeah, I will cut to the future of me trying all of these things on, except for this because I am putting this on now. So yeah, I'm gonna get this on and run to the post office, but until then, here's the trans. Okay, blue jeans, white shirt, what do we think? I'm not sure if the lace is a bit too much on me. Sometimes I feel as though I just can't get away with looks like this. It needs to be a bit more of a like minimal, like a more spaced out type of lace so that it's, I don't know, a bit more sporadic, a bit more minimal. I feel like that suits me a little bit better. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Maybe it's the, the frills, the high neck I'm not sure on, but I do still think, even though it may not be like the most perfect for me lace shirt to ever exist, I do still think this is a really cute look that I would really enjoy wearing. The jeans I'm actually really impressed with, like the length of them is good, like they're still cropped, which is incredible because that's so rare for me. I've just paired this look with my June shoes and then a Saint Laurent sac de jour, and then just put my hair in a bun because I think this look this look doesn't need a lot of hair going on. If anything, I could probably do a slick back bun with this look and it would still be just as great. Okay, so this is the browny, grey toned blazer that's coming up way more like mauve on camera. It's so weird. And I reckon the green one is gonna show up the color that this is in real life on camera. As always, these will be linked in the info box. Definitely go and check out the colors on the Zara website because for some reason there are some tones of like khaki, colors and like gray colors that come off really really weirdly on camera but yeah i like the fit i think these are cute i need to try these on with leggings as i kind of previously talked about because i think like having it on with a pair of jeans and like a gray tank however nice it is it's not how i'm going to be wearing it so in order to make some proper decisions i think i need to see like the realistic vibe you know so i'm just gonna swap these out please hold okay this is this is the vibe what do we think? I honestly find it so difficult, like blazer shopping. Honestly, one of my most difficult things, I am the pickiest person when it comes to blazers, especially I think because of the way that I like to wear them. Yeah, I think, I think it's cute. I just need to decide between the two colors. I think this one may be the one that I think I prefer. Oh no, the green, the green is a completely different fit. It's really long. It feels nicer, like less rough than the other one, but 
it's actually like much thinner, much more flimsy. It has zero shape to it. I don't, I don't feel like, yeah, this is not, this is not good. Okay, styling this one up for you, even though I'm really not sure on it, but you can let me know if I'm actually just being too harsh and it's actually lovely. Yeah, I really wasn't sure. I just paired it with my YSL sac de jour bag and then I've got my Dune shoes on just to really elongate the legs, but it's also like just neutral on neutral on neutral, which I think is very cute. So the dress, I don't know. I just don't know, you guys. I don't know if it is a little bit too mature for me. I don't know if it's actually a bit too big. My waist, <laughs> my waist is, it's gone. These like seams here make me think that it's meant to be like a bit more like this kind of structure. But I actually don't know if I would like it if it was like that. Do I actually prefer it a little bit more like loose? I'm just not, I just don't, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I absolutely hate it. You guys can decide, let me know. <laughs> okay, so to confirm this one, I think it's definitely too big. Really sad because I think it's it would be really cute if it wasn't so oversized. I don't even think it's really, because it's so much excess material, I don't think it's really gonna be tuckable into anything either. So sadly, this one is uh, not for me. If you're taller, I think this would be so cute, even just with like leggings and a pair of trainers. So I'll leave the link in the info box for any of you that are a bit taller or even just like this kind of look. I just think it swamps me a little bit too much. So ignore the fact that this one is really see-through. I don't love it. I don't love the kind of like shape of it. I don't know. I don't really think it's like giving very much. But most importantly, I look like a tea towel. Like this is an actual like kitchen dishcloth kind of vibe. I'm pretty sure I actually have a tea towel that looks like this. See? Basically matching. Okay, so the black like ribbed knitted top I really like. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the detail, but it's really, really cute. The only thing I would say is that it doesn't have any form of like, almost like a little bit of rubber along the top line to kind of stop it slipping down so quickly. It does slip down fairly quickly, I would say. It's not too annoying, but I'll see how I get on with it. But just if that kind of thing bothers you, it's definitely something to keep in mind. I just think it looks so cute under like a shirt for kind of springtime. But then as you go into summer, it's really good for like having a lighter shirt that you can take off and then just have the top on its own. Like I said, I wore my Zara one that is white so much last year with like a kind of shirt, shorts, cold kind of combo. And I really, really loved that. So I think having a black one is a very good little addition to my wardrobe. Yeah, very happy with this little purchase from ASOS. So this is the jumper. I just tucked it in without the tuck. It is just a really nice, like relaxed fit, I would say. It's not like super, super oversized. Like it's the old school kind of oversized, not the really exaggerated oversized that we've become very, very used to now. Yeah, tucks really nicely into my joggers. Annoyingly, I think because they're not the same material, the dye isn't quite like exactly the same. I would say this is a slightly darker black than the jumper. Yeah, looks very cute. I've just left it untucked at the back. I really like it. Just a really nice, like easy, cozy everyday outfit that still looks like a little bit decent in case you need to run out. Like I do right now. So let's all cross our fingers and hope that the parcels that are waiting for me are not too big because I'm planning on walking to get them and Honestly, it puts the fear in me every time that I could be carting like the heaviest press package home. Why do I do this? I do this every time. I'm just like, I'll risk it. And one day it's gonna come back to bite me in the ass. I know it. I know what you're thinking. We're just really, really living life on the edge over here. <laughs> Whoa, the light in here is nice. Hello. <laughs> oh, every time. Hi, Shrimpy. How are you? Morning. How are you doing? I have a brain that is, wow, I'm being blinded. That is what I'm doing right now. Wow. Oh, okay. I have a brain that is just full of information right now and I need to have a cup of tea and just sit with my thoughts and kind of let it all sink in and process. Oh, my hair, by the way, has lasted fairly well. I gave it a good brush just a few minutes ago. So I'm waiting to see if it'll bounce back anymore. Cause I find that sometimes you like brush out a curl and you think, oh, I've really messed this up. It's, it's just dead. But then after a little while, it kind of like bounces back into formation. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we've had a very productive morning because we were having someone come in to look at the house. Brian and I have both like blitzed the house. So it's actually really nice and clean now, which is fab. And I think I'm staying at his this weekend. So it means that it will stay 
clean, which just, I can't remember the last time that happened because I've been staying here a lot recently. But yeah, it's been a very productive morning. As you can probably see, I am in the same outfit that I was yesterday because I was in cleaning mode this morning and I did not have time to get ready properly. I literally was doing my makeup and the person we were talking to was early, like 10 minutes early, and I've never blended in bronzer so fast in my life. Fortunately, I was on the final like step of my makeup, but I, I had the, the dots of like cream bronzer all around my face and it was quite a sight so I was like can you get the door I just need to blend this but anyway I've actually had the last little installment of my Zara order arrive I completely forgot about this so I'm going to show you now it's literally like two bits apologies if you don't like Zara because this video has been kind of Zara heavy oh this light is nice okay oh so cute I've been so excited to get my hands on this so we have this animal print cardigan from zara it's actually got a lot more detail on it than i thought it was going to have but very cute i really like the cream brown and black combo and it's button up i think it's really cute i got it in a size small and hopefully it's not too oversized so that i can like tuck it into things like these leather trousers this is installment number five billion of my quest to find the perfect pair of straight leather trousers will these be the ones who knows okay so this is the cardigan it is a little bit bigger than i had anticipated it's quite oversized what i've done is i've actually instead of tucking it into these trousers just to kind of give you an idea of the look that i was going for i have just tucked it into my bra and it works fairly well like the length sits pretty well to be honest but i might see if they do this in an extra small and if so i will send this one back because i just think having a slightly smaller fit would really benefit me because it is fairly oversized there we go so as you can see it's quite long and this is a small and i find that oversized cardigans just don't suit me like they're very reminiscent of when we all used to wear like the oversized cardigans and that's just not the vibe that i really wanted i wanted like just a cute little cardigan that i could tuck into something so yeah not the vibe however the trousers i've had a bit of luck with like they roll fairly well which is good because they could be full length if i was wearing a heel but if i was wearing a flat you just need that little bit of ankle i've just paired them with my gucci loafers i don't know if, do we like this i'm trying to i'm trying with the gucci loafers because i miss wearing them but they are harder for me to style i like them with a little bit of ankle poking out and to be honest even if i was wearing trainers i'd probably just roll these up a little bit but i can wear them full length and they literally do just hit like top of my foot which isn't a bad length to be honest it's not how they were designed because i'm pretty sure they were very cropped on the model but yeah if you're shorter just to give you an idea of the length that's kind of it they fit well around the bum are they like fitted like i would have liked no there's a little bit of room but that also isn't a bad thing so yeah i'm fairly happy with them and in terms of like i'll just show you these fully rolled down so that you can see if you are shorter you want to know how it's going to sit on you it's going to sit like that so for me this would be more of a heels length because i just think that does nothing for me but someone of an average height they'd be around this i reckon oh my gosh you guys i have just received the best delivery of my life oh my god <laughs> This is the best, this is the best day. Thank you so much to the team of Violife. I think I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, this stuff is amazing. If you are dairy free, you need this. It's the closest thing I've ever found to like a decent camembert. I love it. I had like four of these over Christmas. It was ridiculous. I actually haven't tried this. So I always go to buy it in the supermarket and then I'm like, you don't need to spend any more money than you're already spending. <sighs> This is great. I'm gonna let you know how I get on with this because it looks so good. Yes, new block of cheese. This is gonna be amazing in the cheese compartment of my fridge that I now have. If you haven't seen the last organizational vlog and you like organizing, you need to see it. Oh yeah, okay, great. Day made, life made.
afternoon everybody it is monday i had a lovely weekend of literally just doing nothing it was great it did mean that i didn't get to talk to you very much but literally nothing happened so zero updates on that front however this morning i've just been making my way through my to-do list i have actually also been working on some date night outfits which are also just nice going out outfits as we kind of like move into the spring because i if you go out right now i don't know what you wear I genuinely don't go out this time of year. But yeah, just been working on this little kind of like capsule wardrobe here of like nice outfits that you can throw a coat on over so you can look cute but still be warm. But your feet may be freezing. I'm gonna put that out there in advance. But a lot of these looks will look cute with like trainers and boots and things like that too. Basically a load of outfits that you can dress up or down for whatever your occasion. That is my goal. But I will have a few like nighttimey options because I couldn't resist just throwing in a few kind of more glam looks. And everyone has different dates, don't they? So yeah, hopefully there'll be a little bit of something in here for everyone. It's also just an amazing excuse to use this bag, which is from West 22 and it is incredible. Like the quality of this is so good. It's so heavy. It's got this chain on the inside. I don't know if I'll be able to fish it out one handed. Yeah, this chain is very like Valentino esque it's really interesting this arrived i think on friday i'm obsessed with it it's so cool so i thought for like one of the more glam outfits that would be really cute Some outfits here on the bed that i'm hoping to shoot soon i also just had a little delivery of some charlotte tilbury products i've got this isn't a pr package i got the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin foundation i'm really excited to try this do you want to hear my thoughts in my next vlog let me know i got the shade six neutral which could be could be a tiny bit dark i'm not sure but six in charlotte tilbury's foundations are usually like a ballpark roughly my skin tone however there are less shades in this so this might just be slightly too dark i also picked up a new charlotte tilbury magic cream i want to try going back to this under makeup because when i first started using this i was like god how old was i like 25 and I did not need this. I knew back then I did not need this, but I wanna try it now and see what it's like under makeup now. I also picked up the Rose Ink Concealer because I've heard lots of people saying very good things about it. We then have one of the Super Nudes lipsticks, which I'm not sure if it'll be dark for me, but I wanted to give it a try. Sorry guys, the focus on my camera is really bad because I just dropped it this morning. It's got a slight moviness to it, so I think it might suit my skin tone nicely and then it also picked up one of the jewel pots i have wanted to try these for so long you need to see this packaging okay. this is in the shade walk of no shame which is the only shade that they seem to have in stock at the moment pretty i think that will look really cute on me and then i also got one of the lip tints i find these really handy for if you're like on a long day and you need your lipstick to last it's really good to use a lip tint and then put your regular lipstick on over the top but when it wears off you still have um, like a base colour underneath. This one's just like a nice uh, nude tone. So I thought this would be great for popping on uh, underneath my lipsticks if I'm not wearing a matte liquid lip. So that is my little Charlotte Tilbury haul. This is what happens when I'm bored on a weekend. I'm just obsessed with makeup. Maybe I should go back to being a beauty channel. I also finished this book last night. Absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend. Literally sailed through it. Um, I think in about three, four sittings. So um, yeah, really, really enjoyed this. And it's not often that I read like a non-fiction, but I really, really loved this. In case anyone cared, this is my outfit of the day today. It's a really simple everyday outfit. I'm actually gonna hopefully get out this afternoon and snap a quick pic with like coat, scarf, everything. Really excited to hopefully get back taking some outfit pics at some point. But yeah, this is like my base layer for it. So I've got my pretty little thing black body on and then my zara jeans these i think were mom jeans but i just find they make a really good like regular straight leg jean when you like unroll them but yeah i really enjoy wearing them like this at the moment and then i've got these trainers um i will link these in the info box they're like axel Aragato or something like that i, d I can't remember but they kept appearing for me as an instagram ad have i showed you these already i'm now really questioning myself maybe i didn't show you when they arrived but yeah they kept popping up for me as instagram ads so i decided to pick them up and i actually really like them you will have seen them already in the reel that i posted i did like a winter outfits reel if you haven't seen it i'll link my instagram yeah what do we think of the dad shoe trend do we hate it is it okay i feel like most people are probably gonna hate this but i actually just 
and don't really mind it. I just love trainers. Love trainers so much. And then jewellery is just my usual Monica Vinida everything. I actually ordered some new jewellery over the weekend. I don't know if it will arrive today so you might have to wait till the next vlog to see that but yeah really really excited for that can you tell i was bored this weekend my outfit of the day has been interrupted because the most exciting post has just arrived what is this i feel like my life is unboxings at the moment unboxings on unboxings because nothing else is happening can you guys let me know if you feel the same? But like January is just such a dead month. Uh, yeah. So I'm so sorry that nothing personally has been happening. There is personal stuff happening. I just can't tell you. My house stuff, can't tell you. Sorry. But yeah, dead and uneventful at the moment. So I'm unboxing my post with you. <laughs> this is cute. Thank you very much to the team at Fortnum and Mason for lovely and lotions and body lotion someone's telling me she needs to go outside and bark at things oh you're so ready wow go on off you go anyway before the postman interrupted me i was about to say that i have to go now because i need to get this video live so yeah it's the monday that you're seeing this hi so yeah i'm gonna love you and leave you here oh the other thing that was what i wanted to tell you kept getting distracted uh my lip color today is anastasia beverly hills uh crush liquid lipstick and then pure hollywood in the center yeah that was what i wanted to tell you so that's going to be it for me thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in as always nala do you want to say bye you want to say bye say bye she's like this crazy lady keeps making weird sounds with me yeah that is going to be it from us today i hope you guys are having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye